Welcome back, Hanging with Heavy. We're ch grilling and chilling today. And uh, as Elmer Fudd used to say, I'm hunting wabbit. <laughs> Actually, what we're doing is we're cooking wabbit. We got some rabbit here. We got about three rabbits. We're going to uh, bone them all out, and we're going to make a curried rabbit dish. It's very good. It takes uh, going to take a couple hours to, uh, to cook down, but we're going to take you through step by step on how to do a curried rabbit. So, as always, Hanging with Heavy is brought to you by BoatLoans.com. For all your marine financing needs, please go see BoatLoans.com. Right, we got our rabbit here. What I want to do is uh, we're going to bone it all out. We're going to do this boneless rabbit style because uh, I'm not going to cook it as long as I would if I had the bone still on it. So what I'm going to do is uh, just show you real quick how to bone, bone this rabbit out. And uh, we'll go from there, get all the bones out. So we're going to... Show you right here real quick, get our Acti Sharp, get a couple edge on our knife. Just come down, peel down on your bones. We just kind of fold it away. Start start your cuts just try to fold that bone out and you take some of it scrape right down off the bone and just fold it away and we just get got to watch when you're shooting Yep, this is a wild rabbit. There's a shot. So, just got to make sure you get all that out. You don't want somebody chipping a tooth on a piece of shot. So, you got to make sure you get all that out. You know, you always got to be careful, especially with when you're cooking game that's been harvested. And you come down the backbone here, start saddling this piece out. Down the saddle. Just curl your knife down. Get yourself out of the bones. Another saddle. Just come down the backbone. Just start peeling it away. You get nice little chunks. We'll dice them up. You, know, you can save the save the bones if you want. You can make rabbit stock. It can be very flavorful. It's like a more flavorful chicken stock. Save the bones if you want. All right, guys, I got my rabbit all boned out, so it's all nice and clean. Taking off the bone, the legs, the uh, the top parts, the saddles. That's the word I'm looking for. Saddles. So I'm going to dice it all up, nice and small, and then. Uh, we're going to get it in some hot oil. We're going to season it, get it in some hot oil. Then we'll add our onions, celery, carrots, coconut milk, uh, crushed tomatoes, and we'll let it stew for a couple hours. And uh, so I'm just taking it nice, just chunks, just nice chunks right there. And uh, we're going to brown them up nice, you know, bite size almost. You know, curries are a pot dish. You just kind of put a bunch of stuff into, into the pot and let it, let it simmer away. So, rabbit, you can cook fast, you can cook, you know, slow. You know, you don't want to, in between, you can get chewy if you're not, if you don't cook it long enough, or if you cook it too long, it gets, not that it cooks too long, but it, you know, in your, 
there's a short period of time is what I'm trying to say that you need to be either going all the way or uh, cooking it you know nice and nice and slow or getting it off the heat we're gonna go all the way we're gonna let it cook for a couple hours let it simmer on down you know, just chunks just nice nice chunks and we're gonna get our oils hot we're gonna get everything start browning then we'll uh here all right i'm gonna sprinkle a rabbit before i brown it a little bit of garlic powder a little bit of cumin this is more of a jamaican curry dish than a traditional indian curry although we're using the coconut milk we're kind of adding a little bit of uh both both styles kind of doing a melding a little bit more cumin and the curry will go right into the once right before we add the curry. All right, guys, I got my celery chopped. Got a real diced fine, diced fine onions, ginger. Gonna uh, cut the carrots on a kind of a bias. Bias cut is kind of a rough chop. Just gonna cut them in half. And then just kind of switch the. Got chunks of carrot. Got different, different shapes. Sorry, went too far. So, I'm going to cut them up like that. We're going to put, put potatoes in this too. So, we're just, we got our, uh, got the rabbit browning. And we're going to put in our veggies. And then uh, get everything else in and let her simmer. Uh, onions cooked down with our ginger and our celery. Got that all going. We're going to put in, uh, now I'm going to put in about, uh, probably about two tablespoons of lime juice. I'm not using fresh, I'm just going to use a concentrate. So, a little bit there, shot there. I'm going to put in the coconut milk, two cans of coconut milk. This is the light coconut milk. Got to watch the coconut milk, it'll be really high in fats and stuff. So, it's very, very. and put our carrots in and we're going to start with some some of our curry powder putting the curry in start out with about two tablespoons stir that in I'm going to simmer and then we're going to want to just crank the heat down on it. It's a little bit thick. I actually don't think I have any chicken stock. If not, I'm going to have to use water. It's a little bit thick to be able to cook for that long a time. I like to use chicken stock. If I got any in my pantry. Well, guys, I got all my ingredients in there. I got my carrots, uh, except for my potatoes. I don't have my potatoes in here. I just want to go over something real quick. I kind of made a, an error that I don't. I want to point out to you guys that you shouldn't make at home. Whenever you're using like coconut milk or milk or anything like that, even coconut milk will, uh, you don't want it to boil. And I brought it up to a boil. You just want to kind of let it all simmer. You want it on real low heat. I mean, you crock pot, slow, slow, slow cooking temperatures. Um, you know, you don't want them to boil because you can actually see where the foam started. You really don't want that. It's not really uh, appetizing. So, just want a nice and easy simmer it for a couple hours. I did have to use some water. I didn't have any chicken stock. So, uh, I did have to use some water. But I want to let that, that simmer for... Uh, it's probably been going for a half hour now. I want it to go... Uh, you know, at least another 45 minutes, another hour, oh, almost to another hour and a half. We'll check it, re-season it, check the curry level, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, just about done. Just cooking it until the potatoes are done. The rabbit's nice and nice and tender. The carrots are cooked all the way through. So uh, this has been our rabbit curry. 
Uh, hanging with Heavy, grilling and chilling, brought to you by BoatLoans.com. For all your marine financing needs, please visit BoatLoans.com. And as always, have a great day.